Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to teach you how to do the square or the small marshmallow. I have my 30 pieces here. Um, I did 10 yellow, 10 pink, and 10 blue, so then that way it's easy for you to see the different layers and steps I take. Okay, so to begin, we actually start the base the same way that we do the ball. So we're going to go ahead and grab our first two pieces and connect the straight edge with the straight edge, dog ear with the dog ear, turn it, go to our next piece, straight edge with the straight edge, dog ear with the dog ear, turn it, again, straight edge with the straight edge, hook the dog ear with the dog ear. Then again, for the fifth piece, I always start out with the dog ear first, dog ear to the center, and then hook your two straight edge pieces. Okay, so as you can see, you got your button in the middle, and then your star shape right here. All right. Um, again, we're going to do the second layer the same way we do the ball. So you're going to start where there's your V here, and then you're going to start right here. So lean your piece. Hook the straight edge with the straight edge, dog ear with the dog ear, and then the one on the end here. Turn it. Again, we're going to go right here. Hook the straight edge in. Hook your dog ear under. And then your dog ear over on the side. And then you're going to turn it to your next one. Do the same thing. Straight edge underneath, hook your dog ear, and then the dog ear on the side. Okay. Two more. Straight edge under, hook your dog ear, and then come over to hook your other dog ear here. Okay, last one. Straight edge underneath, hook your dog ear, and then your dog ear on the side. Okay, that completes your second layer. All right, so now um, we're going to do, um, we're going to add in using the pieces backwards. So for my next piece, I'm going to go ahead and take the next pieces that I'm going to use and turn them to the backwards way, or facing backwards. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and start with a button here. I'm going to pick up my piece. Again, it's facing backwards. I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to hook it in with a dog gear, which you normally don't do on um, the one with the sphere. So my straight edge is hooked there, and I'm going to hook this dog gear over with the straight edge. And then this dog gear will hook to the straight edge. Okay, so it's going to kind of bend and you want it to look, um, get that contoured shape there. Alright, we're going to go right over to the next slit. Again, the piece is facing backwards. I'm going to go ahead and hook straight edge in. Hook the dog gear down here. And then connect it on the side, the dog gear with the straight edge. Okay, now you're going to notice that these pieces are leaning in a little bit so it's going to make you feel like you're not doing it right um, but that'll change so you're doing it correctly okay we're going to go to the next spot take your piece it's backwards slide your straight edge up with the button hook on your dog ear here at the side and then again your dog ear to the straight edge right up here again these are going to start leaning inwards here so it looks like that's wrong, but, but you're doing it correctly. Okay, next spot. Again, your piece is facing backwards, so you're going to take your straight edge and hook it up in the button. And then hook your dog ear on the side. And then your dog ear to the straight edge. Okay. Turn it. Another one. Piece is facing backwards. Hook the straight edge up into the button, hook your dog gear over to the corner, and then your dog gear 
to your last piece. Okay. So now as you can see it looks like it's kind of caving in a little bit. And with the next layer we're going to pull it back out. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my other color. And again now we're going to be facing forwards again. Okay. So I'm going to take my next one and I'm going to start here with the buttons, the three buttons. And I'm going to go back the same way I just was. So I'm going to hook my straight edge into the button, my dog ear right here, the straight edge, and then the dog ear with the straight edge. So as you can see it's going to slip and you're just going to pull and it's going to kind of stand up goofy. All right. Okay, we're going to go to the next one and this will slide down until, until you get closer to the end of this row. Alright, so we're going to go to this next one. Again, come up with the straight edge. Hook the dog ear right here. And then you're going to come over and pull your dog ear from way down there and latch it. And again, it'll slip. Just pull it tight. Alright. Next one. Slide your straight edge underneath. Hook the dog ear, then you're going to come over here and hook your pieces. So as you can see they're kind of bending goofy, but that's what you want. Alright, next one. Again, slide your straight edge underneath the button, hook the dog ear. And then you're going to come over here and hook it and just slide it up. Okay. I'm going to go to our last one here. Hook the straight edge under by the button, hook the dog gear. Then you're going to come over here and find your dog gear and hook it right in there that one up. Alright, so now it should be pretty sturdy now that it's all connected and you'll see. Okay. Alright. So now we're going to go back and do the same thing that we did just before. So we're going to turn these backwards again because we're going to go back and go around the same way we did just before. So same thing. Got your piece that's backwards. And you're going to start with the button. So slide the straight edge up. And then latch your dog gear to the straight edge on the side. And then your dog gear right here. Alright. And again, they're going to kind of bend funny, but you're, you're not doing it wrong. Okay, we're going to go over to the next one. Pieces backwards. We're going to slide up the straight edge here at the button. Connect the dog ear with the straight edge and then connect this corner here. And you will get them occasionally slipping, so that's okay. Alright. Again, backwards piece, straight edge goes up. You can hook your dog ear right away. And then you're going to hook the dog ear with the straight edge. Alright, go over to your next one. Piece is still backwards. Go up with the straight edge. You can hook the dog ear right away. Bend it. And then you can hook the dog ear with the straight edge on the side. Last one. Pieces backwards. Slide the straight edge up. I'm going to hook the dog ear right away. And then hook the last piece here. Okay. So 
So as you can see, we're getting closer to that square shape. All right, so now we're going to close off the top. We're going to make this yellow part right up here. All right, so your pieces are facing forward. All right, and you're just going to go ahead and clip. Oh, okay. Just kidding. We're going to start them off backwards. Okay? And you're going to clip the dog ear in with the button. And then connect the straight edge with the straight edge. And we're going to go ahead and leave that dog ear in there to clip all of the rest of them to make that center last button. Clip this one. Alright. And go right over to the next one. Piece is still backwards. I'm going to slide the dog gear with the button. Bend this one over. Connect the side. And then connect the center. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do this piece. Piece is still backwards. Connect that. And that under. And connect it with the center right away if you want. And then connect it right there with the side. So that's what it looks like so far. Okay? Two pieces left. Piece is still backwards. Slide it up on the button, the dog ear. Straight edge will get folded down and go in. Alright, and then the middle gets pulled. Okay, and then I'm going to hook this top one. Alright, so one last piece to go in. It's going to go like this. Go ahead and hook my dog ear on with the buttons. Now this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Fold this one underneath. Try to do it without creasing it. And hook the straight edge. And come up here to hook your straight edge, straight edge, and then your center. for me. <laughs> you might run into little difficulties like I did there, but you just play with it. So, that is your square. <laughs>